Greetings, viewers. Welcome back to 2230, your go-to channel for in-depth analysis and discussion on current events. Today, we're diving into a recent incident that has stirred up significant controversy in Singapore, the unfurling of an anti-Israel banner at Gardens by the Bay. On the evening of April 15, three individuals made a bold statement by unveiling a large banner with the message and SG Israel Arms Trade on the OCBC Skyway at Gardens by the Bay. This act of activism didn't go unnoticed, quickly gaining attention both online and offline. Now, let's dissect the key components of this event. First and foremost, what motivated these activists to take such a public stance against Israel? The banner's message indicates their opposition to Singapore's arms trade with Israel, citing concerns over human rights violations and ongoing conflicts in the region. This action reflects a broader sentiment among certain segments of the population who advocate for solidarity with Palestine and condemn Israel's policies. However, not everyone views this act of protest in a positive light. Criticism has emerged regarding the legality and appropriateness of their actions. Questions have been raised about whether the activists obtained the necessary permits to display the banner in a public space. Under Singaporean law, unauthorized public displays can be considered offenses under the Miscellaneous Offenses, Public Order and Nuisance Act and the Sedition Act. Furthermore, the timing of this incident adds another layer of complexity. It occurred amidst heightened tensions between Israel and Palestine, following a series of violent confrontations. The recent conflict in Gaza has resulted in significant loss of life and widespread destruction, intensifying global scrutiny of Israel's military actions. In response to the banner, there has been a polarized reaction from the public. Some commend the activists for their courage and commitment to raising awareness about an important issue. They view it as a legitimate form of protest and expression of solidarity with the Palestinian people. Others, however, criticize the activists for their methods, arguing that there are more constructive ways to address the issue. The involvement of social media has amplified the debate even further. Images of the banner quickly circulated on platforms like Facebook and Instagram, prompting a barrage of comments from users with varying perspectives. Supporters and detractors alike have taken to these platforms to voice their opinions, resulting in heated exchanges and further entrenchment of positions. At the heart of this controversy lies a fundamental question. What role should Singapore play in the Israel-Palestine conflict? While Singapore has historically maintained diplomatic relations with Israel and engaged in economic cooperation, calls for a reassessment of these ties have grown louder in recent years. Advocates for Palestinian rights argue that Singapore should take a stronger stance against Israel's actions, including ending arms trade and promoting peace initiatives. On the other hand, proponents of the status quo emphasize the importance of maintaining diplomatic relations and economic partnerships for strategic and pragmatic reasons. They argue that Singapore's foreign policy should prioritize stability, economic prosperity, and international cooperation, rather than taking sides in distant conflicts. In the midst of this debate, it's crucial to consider the broader geopolitical context. The Israel-Palestine conflict is deeply rooted in historical grievances, territorial disputes, and competing narratives of identity and sovereignty. Any attempt to address this complex issue must navigate a maze of political, cultural, and religious sensitivities. As Singapore navigates its role in this global arena, it faces a delicate balancing act between upholding its principles of justice, peace, and human rights, and safeguarding its national interests and security. The government's response to this incident and its broader approach to the Israel-Palestine conflict will undoubtedly shape its international standing and domestic cohesion. In conclusion, the unfurling of the anti-Israel banner at Gardens by the Bay has sparked a multifaceted debate about activism, legality, diplomacy, and moral responsibility. It serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of local and global issues and the power of individuals to catalyze change through their actions. What are your thoughts on this incident? Do you believe the activists were justified in their protest, or do you think they crossed a line? How should Singapore navigate its relationship with Israel in light of these developments? Share your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, this is 2230, signing off.